Have you ever wanted to build and design your dream transporter? At Van Haven, we're here to help realize those dreams, introducing the new Van Haven configurator. So this has been about 18 months in the making, countless of hours, multiple photos of all of our body kits, alloys, leather interior, everything that we do here at Van Haven, um, all to compile this into one simple to use, easy configurator. Um, it basically displays everything that we do from leather interior, alloys, body kits, carbon parts, pop top roofs, all the electrics that we do here as well. Um, and it just really helps you to visualize and realize what you've got in your head, what you've been talking to with Tom or Ollie, and actually see what this thing is gonna look like because it's so hard and we see it all the time. It just enables you to see what you're gonna build beforehand. And it's always a hundred times better in person as well once it's actually built, but it just gives you a real insight as to what we're gonna be doing here on your vehicle. We're gonna go through the configurator from start to finish, show you all the different options that we've got. Just show off the configurator really, it's, it's, it's wicked. We're really, really excited to, to show you guys. So um, yeah, let's hop in and have a look. Brilliant, so here we are. Um, I know you can see my screen as well, but yeah, we'll, we'll take you through the, the whole concept. So this is the home page of the configurator. You've basically got factory combi, combi conversion, shuttle conversion, panel van, and a caravel conversion. So all the different types of conversions that we'd offer here. Um, we are gonna be doing a camper conversion in here as well, um, but that is a lot more components. And we just wanted to launch this first, just so we can um, yeah, show you all how it works. And then we can, we'll be working on the camper as well at the moment. So we'll go for a combi conversion, and it's a short wheelbase. We'll hit configure. Cool, right, so here we are in the home page. We've got a completely standard Ravenna Blue T6.1. Um, yeah, which looks really cool, really cool. You can turn your lights on and off on the front. You can have a 360 spin. It might be a little bit slow on this, the frame rate. Um, that's because we're always doing a screen recording. So what we'll do first is we'll go and choose a color. Now, my favorite color is Ascot Gray. That's my favorite color. So we're gonna build a van based on that. So you go down to your exterior packs. We've got all of our exterior options on here from the TT, TTR, TTS, TTX, and the all new TTRC Carbon. I think I wanna play with the TTRC Carbon because I think it's just absolutely awesome. So let's go with that one. Cool, so at the moment um, we can go through and choose our alloy wheels. So we've got all the different alloys on here. I'm gonna go for my favorites at the moment, which is the SM Cells in matte black. I'm gonna go for a gloss finish on there on the carbon kit. Streamer on, I'm gonna have a four tonner red streamer one and a four tonner red streamer three. So you'll see that, I can zoom in as well. So that's added all of that on there, which is brilliant. And I'm liking that. There's more options that I can choose later on for the exterior, but that's my sort of the, the main bulk of the TTRC exterior kit already all applied. So um, I think I'm gonna skip interior packs for the moment and just go to exterior upgrades just so I can choose some more options on here. So um, I'm gonna, you can have, if you go real close up to the brakes here, at the moment it's just got the standard brakes on there, but obviously we do the Forge Big Brake Kit, so we can add those. There you go, so you can, get, you can fully customize it. Um, I'm also gonna go with, I don't want any TTX upgrades, because that's more of a swamper look. Um, but on the front and rear badge, not too keen on that chrome in there, so I think I'm gonna go for a gloss black front badge, and that will also do the rear. Um, thinking about it actually, I'm gonna go for shadow pack, because that's my favorite option, which is like a black chrome, which looks wicked. Cool, so we'll zoom on out. Um, you can obviously do the pop top roof as well if you wanted. I'm not gonna do that on this build, but just to show you, it'll do the full pop top roof and you can have the carbon roof. If you zoom in, you can see the carbon effect on there, which is really cool. And then we can go for the Ascot Grey, which is a lot of people go for, because then it's just really slim line and stealth. But we're gonna delete the pop top roof off here for this example. 
Um, and then you've got a whole load of other upgrades down here. So you've got your wind deflectors, which go on the windows, obviously, uh, rear bumper protector. You can even spec a rear camera on there and that'll put just a little black dot on the rear. Um, we're also gonna go for some, we're not gonna go mud flaps because we've obviously got the rear kits on there, so we can't fit those. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go for red brakes because then that ties in nicely with the front. So yeah, that looks really mean, really mean. Um, but you can also add things like the rear quarter windows so they can get installed if you're going for a full bay window conversion. Um, or you can turn those off and you can have full combi tints as well. So that'll just tint all the rear windows out, make it all look nice and stealth. I'm pretty happy with the exterior on that vehicle at the moment. Um, so we'll go into the interior packs. And this is where it looks really cool. Um, so we'll go inside if we hit, where's the interior button, front row. So inside the vehicle here now, it's a completely standard T6.1. Um, you've got your, all your in bits that we see on the Van Haven van, so you um, discover media, multifunctional steering wheel, all of that stuff. But you see in the rear, it is all completely standard. Now, we're gonna go for the Platinum Plus. So it's everything that comes as standard on the Platinum Plus kit. Um, you've got the full black carpet. Um, Alcantara works, etc. We haven't got any seats in here at the moment, so I'm gonna go for a one plus one and a rear bench. So just get those loading, so there you go. There's your rear bench in there, and your seats. In terms of leather, I'm probably, now Ollie and Tom will probably, um, yeah, have words with me for this video afterwards, because my designing isn't always the best, but we're gonna go with red leather seats. Um, and then I'm gonna go for the dress stitch. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep, the, I'm gonna go for yellow, not personal preference at all, but it's just so you can see <laughs> nice and clearly what's being changed there. Um, and then piping, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Actually, no, we'll go yellow piping as well, why not? Crazy, not, not actually something I'd probably spec, but, but yeah, as you can see, it looks, um, yeah, it looks pretty mental. So, um, now, you can go into the mid row as well, so you can see what your cockpit's gonna look like. If you swivel around, oh, gone a little bit too far. Cool, so you can see all of that. Um, you've got your center map light all done in the, in the internal optics. You've got all your internal optics painted in there, um, which looks awesome. Um, you can also change the color of your internal optics. You can go for a satin gray, you see that all change. Um, and then a satin black as well. I like satin black, so I'm gonna stick with that. You can also change all your Alcantara lining colors. So you, I'll go for a silver on this one. It looks wicked, it's so cool. It just really helps you visualize it. Um, and it's a real good interpretation of what your van's gonna look like. Um, cool, so let's go into some interior upgrades. We'll go to the front row. Another thing actually I'll show you quickly you can open the front and rear doors, like so. So you can actually see in the rear a lot better what's going on there. Um, you can see in the side view, you can zoom in. So you can like literally see what it'd be like actually standing up close to your van. So that's, that's cool, that's cool. Automatically, it selects the um, Caravelle lower dash door cards, but you can untick those. So it'll be like your normal standard plastics. But again, you can see the difference between the factory plastics and then the Caravelle lower door cards. Um, and lower dash, which looks really smart. Um, we can even go as far as changing the seat belt colors as well. So if you have a look at these here, we'll go for some yellow seat belts as well. Um, we can have blood red, GTI red, you can have anything, you can have anything on here. Um, combi bed as well, we can spec that. So if you have a look on the exterior, there we go, so you can see a combi bed in there, how that's gonna fit. A lot of people, that's a big question that people ask us, how much space am I gonna get with a combi bed in there? Um, but again, that can really help you visualize what that's gonna look like, where you're gonna put your boxes, etc. cetera, um, which is cool. We've got your swivel seats. So you tap that button there, your seats are gonna swivel. Again, really cool, giving you a bit of an idea of how much room you're gonna get in there. Obviously, when you're in the van, you'll be able to move your seats backwards to optimize that space, and you can put a combi table in the middle. Um, we've got Van Haven mats to spec up, and put those in there, so you can see. Extron DVD player, you'll see that flip down from the screen up here. You see that flip down from the, from the ceiling. We can also have, we'll untick your combi table, no, combi, combi rear bed, and we can put your combi bulkhead in there. So you can really see again what that segmentation is gonna look like. You've got your two thirds at the front there and then your rear third in the back for all your tools, etc. depending on how you wanna do that. So you can untick, we'll untick the, uh, the combi bulkhead. 
and we'll put one of the um, the trays in there. There we go. So you got that in there as well. Oh, it's, it's endless. You can you can have everything in here. You can even have your see where your diesel heater is going to go. So you tick that in, and you'll see. I don't know if you can see that just there. You have got your vents in there, and also just in there. So yeah, you can literally see where everything's going to be placed. Obviously, there might be some variation to that. Um, if you have like lots of electrics in one place, there might be like a different place we'll have to put those due to congestion in there um, under the seats. Um, but yeah, we'll obviously go through that with you. So that's all looking really good. I'm pretty happy with that. But what I'm going to show you as well is we have got the, where are we? Interior upgrades. TTRC sports seat upgrade. You'll be able to see we've got our carbon seats in there and this one's got loads of things that you can obviously change. So you can have the leather colors change in, um, seat center stripe changed. Yeah, there's all sorts. Yeah, it's great. It's really, really cool. It just really gives you that idea of what we're gonna be building for you and you can really visualize it. It's the big buzzword in this project. It just helps you guys see what you're getting before we actually build it. There's so many variations of what you can do with the configurator. You can really build it as you go, see what you like, see what you don't like. Because um, you might think that you think, oh, I like green piping in your head, but actually when you see it in the color of the van that you've chosen, it might not quite work. So um, it's really good. But also it means you can go back and say, well, actually I don't really want the TTRC kit. I'm gonna change it to the TTR kit and then it will just automatically change it for you. Um, and you can go through and change all your wheels if those types of wheels didn't quite work with that body kit that you were after. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's really good. Now obviously there's going to be loads more videos showing you how this works. Um, no doubt you'll be speaking with Tom and Ollie about this on the phone should you call up and they'll be able to take you through it. Um, but yeah, we're really excited to show you this. We're really excited to get this out and you guys playing it and I'm sure we'll be doing competitions for someone to build their own vehicle. Um, to win some merchandise, which is another thing that we've got launching very soon. So yeah, this will be coming out very, very soon. Um, the link will be in the description as soon as that's been launched. We'll put an update in there, but obviously it'll be available on the website. It's probably gonna be about two weeks time for when this is gonna be launching on the website. So keep an eye out on the social media, emailers, um, and obviously on our website, etc. And um, yeah, look forward to getting you, getting you using it. I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Any questions or any suggestions, please chuck them in the comments below. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time.